Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass, right? So we have understood and learned a bit or maybe a good amount of chunk of JavaScript and now is the time to actually test yourself. So in this tutorial, we are not going to understand or kind of, you know, delve into any topics in terms of explanation. What I want you to do is actually answer the 25 questions that are coming next. All right. So get your pen and paper out or probably just note it on your phone. But I, what I want you to do is actually answer the questions and track your score as to how much are you scoring and comment on the video what your final score was. All right. So I'm not sure which of the videos are you watching, but there are three sets coming up for you. Set one, 25 questions. Then you would have another set, 25 questions and another set, 25 questions. This would be three videos, right? So this could be video two or this could be video one. That's fine. But what I want you to do is actually track your score, see what you are getting right, learn what you are getting wrong and comment below what your total score is. All right. Once we are done with these three videos, we will then jump into lightning web components and we'll continue our journey there. All right. Great. So that's all why I was here and I want you to wish all the best. So get good scores. Let's get started. First question. What does the push method do in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. Which keyword is used to define a function in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What is the output of the following code snippet in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What does the pop method do? Let's move to the next question. Which of the following is a valid way to declare a constant? Let's move to the next question. How do you convert a number to a string in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What will the following code snippet output in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. Which method is used to find the index of an item in an array? Let's move to the next question. What is the output of the following code snippet in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. How do you merge two objects in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What is the default value of this in strict mode? Let's move to the next question. How do you remove properties from an object? Let's move to the next question. Which array method creates a new array by transforming elements?
Let's move to the next question. What is the output of the following code snippet in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What does let do differently compared to where? Let's move to the next question. What happens if you access a property that does not exist in an object? Let's move to the next question. What is the output of the following code snippet in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. Which operator is used to assign values in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What does the find method do in arrays? Let's move to the next question. How do you declare an empty object in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. What is the result of the following code snippet in JavaScript? Let's move to the next question. How do you check the type of a variable? Let's move to the next question. Which method adds elements to the beginning of an array? Let's move to the next question. How do you create a shallow copy of an object? Let's move to the next question. Final question. What is the output of the following code snippet in JavaScript? <laughs> 